it's time for some more fun with our friends at Mad Science. Jolting Jonathan joins us once again. Hey, Jonathan. Hi, Michaela. How are you? I'm great. Hey, we love having fun with you guys, whether it's in studio or like this via Zoom. And you have a fun experiment that we can try called Center of Gravity. Exactly. Thank you. We're going to talk about Center of Gravity. And in order to talk about Center of Gravity, the first thing I need to do is I have a cardboard tube, just a regular cardboard tube, and I'm going to set it on my table. And if I let go of it, it stays on the table because gravity pulls the whole tube straight down onto the table. Okay. If I move the tube, so just a little bit of the tube is hanging off, there's still a little bit more of the tube on the table than off the table, and it will stay on the table. Now, if I move it all like that, Michaela, what's it going to do? Let me move it back so you can Probably see. Probably going to fall off the table. <laughs> exactly. It's totally. So what happened? Why didn't it fall? I have no idea. What's well, in there? <laughs> what's in there? That's exactly it. What's in there is beforehand, I put a small weight in the tube. And what that does is it actually changes the way our tube balances. If I take my tube and I hold it flat like this on my hands and I bring my hands together like I was clapping, my hands will meet in the middle. They will always meet in the middle. That's where the tube balances. It's its center of gravity. If I put the weight in the end of the tube, is it still going to balance in the middle? No, I've actually changed where my tube balances. Wow. And what's really fun is we can try this at home. We can move it over here and the tube balances over there. But I like to do this with tiny humans. And when we talk about how things at home have that center of gravity, everything does. As a matter of fact, I've got my yardstick and I can bring my hands together and they'll always meet in the middle. But where it gets really fun and what I like people to do Where's the center of gravity on something like a baseball bat? Is it in the middle? Let's find out. Oh, not yeah, quite. It's right about there. What's even more fun is just about anything in your house that you can set across your hands, you can find its center of gravity. I've got this big broom right here. Where's my center of gravity on my broom? is right about there. You can do this with anything on your house that you can get to balance on your hands. Wow. And everything has a center of gravity, even people. So if you want to get your grown up and you can hold them up like this, <laughs> you can try it with your grown up. I wouldn't, but you can. Well, hey, maybe you've got some fun toys at home, or if you're just looking to get out of chores instead of sweeping, just use the broom to do a balancing act. <laughs> Look, grown up, I'm doing science. I'll get to the chores later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Exactly. That's so fun. Well, this is a great suggestion. And I love that you brought up some things that we definitely have in the house, yeah. you know, a, a broom, a baseball bat, figure out where the centers are. And, you know, maybe you can guess, maybe you can have some fun and try and make a prediction before you do the experiment yourself. That's exactly what we like to do. And we try, especially with everything going on the way that it is now, all of our programs have an at home element that uses things like that you can just find around the house. Our classes, our workshops, even our birthday parties all have something with things around the house that you can do with us. Well, isn't that fun? We'll have to definitely get in touch with you if we want to try some more fun experiments ourselves. We'll put a link up on our website, that's roadshow.com.